What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, a.k.a. the world's worst magician, and no, I will not cut my fingernails. Thank you for asking. Uh, today I will be bringing you a, a review of Revolution by Gregory Wilson. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a new effect where it allows you to spin an entire deck of cards uh, or a single playing card on your finger. So if you're used to a standard pirouette, and, and I'm not the best at this, so uh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so standard pirouette is just like that, right? So you'll normally get one or two seconds out of this. Um, I did see somebody post a 12 second pirouette, which was pretty, pretty remarkable. But yeah, normally you're gonna get like one to two seconds. Uh, from Gregory Wilson's effect, he has been able to get 21 seconds and I was able to duplicate that, but uh, let me just show you a quick demo with a single playing card and with a full deck right now. All right, so as you can see, the spin is much tighter and it's definitely gonna last you a lot longer than you know what a regular pirouette would do. And it's gonna kind of freak people out. I mean, if you saw somebody just spin an entire deck on their finger, that's an attention getter. So that's kind of what one of the main utilities for this is gonna be is like, a, hey, what's going on over there kind of thing. And you know, kind of, get that crowd attention if you're sitting in a crowded place and then you're just sitting there spinning an entire deck on your finger people are going to notice um so <clears throat> i'll leave a link in the description to where you can view the trailer for this and uh also purchase it but as always let's get into the negatives of this thing first um want to kind of it it's not a major thing but his instruction was uh, I, I don't know if you've dealt with Gregory Wilson a lot. Uh, this was my first real exposure. I've seen him on Wizard Wars, but this was my first exposure to something of his. Uh, his sense of humor is uh, its a bit different, a little dry. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with that, then you know it, it may catch you a little off guard like it did for me. The, the other part is just that the instructional video was almost an hour and 40 minutes when it honestly could have been about 30 minutes. I mean, there was a section in there where he shows you somebody trying to learn it for the first time and they kind of go over things, which was kind of helpful, but really they could have lost that. Uh, also, when he's explaining it, I thought it was maybe just his sense of humor, but he was using basically physics terms to try and describe how you get used to it, how you do it, and I, <laughs> how many physicists are magicians, right? So, I don't, to me, the instructions were a little bit off-putting, but y you get what you need. The strong point of the instructions was uh, the routines that he shows you. There's a couple of ideas in there, and a, a couple of you do get a couple of uh, gaffes with it. So, um, that the instruction is just a little out there. <laughs> okay, um, the gaffes also, uh, to me, are going to be one of the negatives. They just don't. The, the point is to try and make them look like uh, they were, and I could show them to you because they're just gaff cards, but basically it tries to make it look like they were spun, but I just think they did kind of a poor job. It just it just looks really sloppy to me. And there's one additional card that has um, the back is like this, so you can uh, do kind of a, not an invisible deck, but almost like that a kind of effect, but... Yeah, so as you can see, I don't know. I'm just, you might like them. I'm not happy with them. To me, they just, they look really sloppy. Like, I don't know. They don't look like they were twisted, right? That's the effect that they're going for. So it's basically you spin the deck and then you've spun the cards, right? That's how it's supposed to look. And to me, it just, it doesn't look or feel like that. Um, but you do receive an additional gaff, And um, here it is. And this is the one that I actually dislike the most. Because to me, I, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here. So this is the regular back, and then this is the twisted back, and this looks like... It looks like you would just try to erase some of it. It, it doesn't look like it was twisted, right? I'm not sure the spectator's really going to get what was going on here. Um, the other negative is that you do have to... Um, I'm not going to say ruin, but you have to damage uh, the box that you're using. And uh, one of the the negatives on that is that he tells you that it lines up perfectly, 
but then he also tells you you need to find the exact center of gravity of the card box and I mean if you just look at a card box how do you know where the exact center of gravity I mean <laughs> you're gonna have to try to line it up a little bit and I feel like when I did my box that it is not exact so it's off just a little bit so when I spin it it kind of uh, tilts a little bit now with a playing card, uh, if you're gonna put, there is a way to cover, uh, it's a gimmick. The way to cover the gimmick, I'm not gonna show you what it is, but the way to cover it, you also have to damage a playing card if you're gonna cover the front of the gimmick. Um, you do not have to damage a card if you're gonna cover the back. So that's kind of a negative for me as well, is that <laughs> you have to find a card that you're willing to damage in order to get the effect. But you know, it's not that big a deal. All of us should have extra cards laying around, you know, jokers or what have you that we're willing to get rid of. So that's okay. So negatives aside, what are the positives of this thing? Uh, the positives are if you can get it to spin, it feels like magic. Uh, because you, you once you get it going, he said that he finds it to be addictive, and, and I agree. <laughs> I'll sit there spinning a card on my finger, and I'm like, wow, this is crazy, because it's just it's just spinning in, in air, you know? And um, sorry about that. Once you, once you get it going, you can see how fast this is spinning as well. And uh, I chose a bicycle cardistry uh, card to make mine, but <clears throat> you can choose any pretty much any card you want. Uh, I will say that some of the cards that I chose uh, with the DeVoe series, it didn't seem like they had full coverage, so I'm not sure if the gimmick is too big or their cards were too small. Um, the gimmick seems like it should be about the right size. But as I've been talking to you, you can see how long this thing is spinning. And, you know, he has a cool trick where basically he starts spinning it and he says, while I'm spinning it, red or black, they say red, diamond or heart, call it the card, boom, done. And then he goes into the trick of finding their card, and their card is the only one that is spun, right? So that's a cool trick in there. He does offer uh, a few tricks that, you know, they involve some other things uh, as far as, like, uh, invisible decks or color changes or something like that. Um, so you can vary it up how you do it. So it's not, it's not just a way to garner attention. You can also use it as part of a trick. Um, or he was saying you could use it kind of as a closer. So, you, you know, your set's over for the night and then you take the, the box and spin it on your finger and say, yeah, okay guys, um, you know, I guess I'll, I'll see you next week, right? And you just casually sit there with it spinning on your finger while you're talking to him, like nonchalantly, like, you know, hey, there's, there's nothing going on here, nothing to see. So there, there is three different ways that you can use it. You can use it as you're just standing there and you start doing it almost like if you were to use some invisible thread and make something levitate in, in the middle of Starbucks and everybody's going to, hey, what's going on over there? And then you can go into a set. So you can use it that way. Or once you've started your set, you can use it to do a trick or you can just use it casually on the way out and not really make a big deal out of it. It's not super hard to do once you get used to it. Uh, it is going to take some practice. He says it'll take you about a week, maybe. Um, I can spin a basketball on my finger, so this wasn't that much different from that. So it took me about an hour to really get used to it. Now, the deck of cards, I still don't really have down because there's there's different physics involved in that. So... I need to basically damage another box because once you've done it to a box, you really can't try again. <clears throat> so what I'll have to do is pick another box and then try it with that one and see if I can find a better center of gravity. Because when he does it, I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks like when I'm spinning the single card. Um, so it is possible. You can do it. Uh, you do have to hide it a little bit because there is a gimmick involved. So the, the beauty of it is he, he shows you a way to hide it in the box or you can hide it using uh, actual playing cards. So there is ways to make it so it does look like magic. It looks like you did it and you had nothing involved in it. So it is going to take a lot of practice for you to get this down. And it, it's all about feel and positioning. And that's what's going to take you the longest is figuring out where on your finger you need to have it. And you can do it. He does it on his pinky, his thumb. I mean, you pick which finger for you is going to be the most comfortable. And then you pick where on that finger. And then, you know, you just repetition, right? You just have to keep going over and over. <laughs> but 
I mean, like I said, once you get it down, it's it's not it's not that bad. And as you can see, the the spinning is pretty free flowing. Um, there are micro adjustments that you're going to have to make. You can actually start to feel the card uh, touching your finger a little bit. And depending on where it's touching your finger, then you just adjust based on that. So it, again, it's just a uh, little, little nuances of it that you're going to have to figure out on your own, uh, just because everybody's hands are a little bit different and everybody's skill level is going to be a little bit different. So when you spin it though, and this is a bicycle cardistry deck, uh, it just, it looks super nice and you can spin this for quite some time. So if you are doing a trick, asking them to pick a card, uh, you have to get really used to this so that you can spin it long enough to where you can ask them questions, uh, like, Hey, what suit red or black pick a card. And, um, you know, I think <clears throat> it can be a cool effect in that, right? Uh, for the price, I wish he had just included a box. I mean, you know, Tux shouldn't be that expensive. The gimmick is is great quality. Uh, I've dropped it about 40, 50 times already now uh, on a hard floor. And uh, he recommends that you practice over like carpet or a chair so that it doesn't hit the ground. Um, I was in the middle of cooking, so I was just doing it in the kitchen and I kept falling on the tile floor and I didn't have any problems with it. So I would be careful though. I would be careful with it, but it is well constructed. Um, but yeah, for the price... You get the three gaffs and you get the gimmick. I do wish they would have just made a tuck that goes along with it instead of asking the the person to basically damage a few boxes if they don't get it right like I didn't. Um, and then, you know, it just comes with the tuck and it's already ready to go. You just, you know, throw some cards in there and then you're ready to do a trick. Um, I, I think that that would have been a little more worth it. They could have saved on the, you know, the fancy packaging and just given you a tuck, maybe. <laughs> but overall, is it worth it? Uh, <laughs> you know, I always got to leave that up to you guys, but for me, yeah, it's, it's super cool. Um, if you were just think about this, I mean, I travel a lot, so I'm in an airport, so I'm going to be sitting there in an airport where everybody's, you know, hunkering down, hating life. <laughs> and then I'm going to be standing there and I've done a little bit of cardistry and stuff and people have stopped and watched. But if I'm doing something like this, then that's going to get attention. And if you're, you know, wanting to do a set for people, you could do this. Hey, check this out. And then, you know, you're going to form a crowd pretty quickly if you're sitting there doing this. And then, you know, the longer you can do it, uh, he says to maybe pick how long you're going to do it. So the best way is act like, you know, you're having trouble with this and then um, then do it. So I'd be like, oh, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. Try a couple of times. And then on the last time, bust that out. And then you know, it'll seem more believable and not like you have some sort of gimmick because, you know, they're going to want to try and touch that card or something like that. So just be prepared for that. Um, you can flash and most people will not even see it. And while you're doing it, most people will not see it. I mean, he shows you a way to cover it, but generally you don't even need that cover. You can spin it and they can look at your finger and it'll just look like you're spinning the card. Um, so to me, I like it. Uh, do I wish it came with a tug? Yes, but that's pretty much it. His his instruction, like I said, just if you're used to it, you're used to it. If you're not, it'll catch you a little off guard. I felt like the video could have been a lot shorter uh, for what you got, but he does go over a lot of material and, and different things, and then there's some funny bloopers at the end. So it's a great package. The video is well shot, um, well constructed. Uh, I don't like these gaffes, but you can still use them or not. You don't have to use these. And um, the gimmick itself, like I said, it's well constructed. Seems like it should last a while. Um, so overall, I would recommend it if you're just looking for something completely different. I've never seen anything like this. So to me, I had to get it. I love spinning a basketball on my finger. Why not spin a deck of cards, right? All right. Well, this has been your review of Revolution by Gregory Wilson. All right. See ya. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right.